never go to sleep bad friends. These words belong to Florence Aerosmith, who shared one of the longest marriages on earth with her husband, Percy. Specifically, the marriage is a success, Mrs. Aerosmith said, because she and Percy still work hard at it and they never go to bed on a quarrel. With both of the Longstreet children now engaged to be married, I'm inspired to mention a fun source of inspiration to married folks, the Mr. and Mrs. Happy Handbook. According to author Steve Ducey, this is not an advice book per se, because what has worked for me and the many people I've interviewed for the book may not work for you. The book is an anthology of stories told to Ducey by people who, in spite of some difficult obstacles and some remarkably humorous marital mistakes, remain committed to their spouse and enjoy happiness. Ducey interjects these anecdotes into the story of his real-life long-term marriage to Kathy, or as he refers to her, Saint Kathy. Along with Steve, Mrs. Happy provides advice points throughout the book, utilizing a sense of humor that obviously has had a lot to do with the success of the Ducey marriage. The book deals with everything from dating to the wedding day and from married life to kids. The information is provided in an entertaining, laugh-out-loud style that makes the book hard to put down. As an example, an advice point from Mr. Happy, never buy a woman an appliance. Unless Ralph Lauren makes a toaster oven, put it back. A household device subliminally, subliminally says, happy anniversary, honey. Now get in the kitchen and make me a corn dog. On a more serious note, Ducey advises that when there's a disagreement, sometimes you've just got to cave in and say, yes, dear. And sometimes you've got to say, sorry. The choice is yours. You can fight it and always be right or you can go with the flow and compromise to find a happy middle place. I've been in situations where I was right and yet for the sake of my marriage I would agree that my wife was. She has done the same with me. As I see it, a successful marriage is a product of loyalty, putting the needs of your spouse ahead of your own, flexibility, patience, a certain amount of hard work, and yes, unconditional love. There are other tools that help marriages succeed. Self-help books abound. Experts like Drs. Laura and Phil are on the radio and television with advice and marriage counselors have a booming business. And Ducey's book provides a primer that all prospective brides and grooms should read. What they'll learn, as the book jacket cover proclaims, is that marriage is ridiculously hard, but laughing about it is now incredibly easy with the Mr. and Mrs. Happy Handbook. Many people have expressed their opinions about the secret to a long, happy marriage. When Brenda and I were first married, a friend of mine told me it was an automatic ice maker in the refrigerator. Mentioned in Ducey's book was a husband who felt the secret is separate bathrooms. Kathy Ducey says it's because her husband makes her feel like she's the most beautiful girl in the world every day. So what does Percy Aerosmith, the other half of one of the longest marriages on earth, say about a successful marriage? comes down to two words, yes dear. If you're currently married or like my kids on the way to matrimony, consider the insightful words of the Aerosmiths. Work hard at it, never go to bed mad, and say yes dear. I'm John Longstreet with another edition of Longstreet Beat. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you again next time.